let us begin our study to know the actual structures of these ionic crystals especially cubic ionic crystals i already told you there are six types of cubic ionic crystals number 1 rock salt number 2 cesium chloride number 3 fluoride number 4 anti fluoride number 5 spalerite of course it is zinc blend number 6 perovskite structure let us discuss one of the important structure anti fluoride structure and as an example potassium oxide we are applying radius ratio rule to explain the structure before to actual explanation of the structure let us know what is that radius ratio rule radius ratio means ratio of radius of cation to radius of anion if that ratio is less than 0.155 type of void type of gap type of hole will be linear coordination number will be 2 if it is between 0.155 to 0.225 type of void will be triangular planar and coordination number 3 if it is between 0.225 to 0.414 the type of void will be tetrahedral and coordination number 4 if type of void is octahedral then radius ratio should be 0.414 to 0.732 and coordination number 6 if void is cubic then coordination number will be 8 and radius ratio will range between 0.732 to 1 here what we will do we will get the data for size of cation and anion is radia of cation and anion and we will find the ratio of them where that ratio stands accordingly we will get idea about the void we will get idea about coordination number so we will be with rough picture about the ionic compound then we will go to actual structure that experimentally we found and rational behind that will be clear to you so radius ratio its application its importance and understanding of our structure all things will be fulfilled in this current structure of potassium oxide k2o potassium ions have radius 133 picometer and oxide ion has radius 140 picometer as per our usual concept and calculation radius ratio will be equal to 133 picometer divided by 140 picometer answer is 0.950 so as we were applying till now the ranges for the radius ratio This 0.950 value is between 0.73221. To It means coordination number should be eight. For whom? For metal ion. Means for potassium. Suppose if this would have been the truth, then for one potassium in simple cubic arrangement or primitive cubic arrangement. oxide ion should be there so number of oxide ion should be one total i am saying and number of potassium ion also will be the one so one is to one should be the stoichiometry but it is not the reality it means here we are coming across problem to apply radius ratio rule let us see what is the reality of the structure how the structure is interestingly 
this structure is exactly opposite to the structure of fluoride last time we have studied in case of calcium fluoride calcium ions were with fcc arrangement and fluoride ions were occupying corner positions of the inner cube means tetrahedral voids were occupied by fluoride ions here case will be reverse here negative ions oxide ions will form fcc arrangement and tetrahedral voids will be fulfilled by metal ion here metal ion is potassium now question you may be with why it is so yes here is a limitation for our radius ratio rule and its application here overall formula is important in case of fluoride structure fluorides were double in quantity therefore tetrahedral voids which are double in quantity those were occupied by fluorides while in this anti fluoride structure potassium oxide sodium oxide or oxides what can we find metal ions are double in quantity and tetrahedral voids are double in quantity therefore metal ions will occupy tetrahedral voids even though it is considerably larger relatively larger only four ligands only four negative ions four anions four oxide ions will surround it so true sense how is the structure at the corners of inner cube there are metal ions and in outer cube in fcc arrangement oxide ions are there let us find the coordination number of course metal ions are occupying the tetrahedral voids so what will be the coordination number 4 and this anion oxide ion as i explained for the fluoride structure you will understand which is at the center of the face can be surrounded by eight number of potassium ions eight number of metal ions so what is the coordination number for oxide eight so what where we expecting the coordination number as per radius ratio for the metal ion it is reverse it happened for the anion so it is a reverse or opposite to the fluoride structure an example is potassium oxide now let us find the stoichiometry fcc arrangement means total number of voids or total number of oxide ions will be equal to 4 and metal ions are at tetrahedral voids and tetrahedral voids are well inside so complete number of the metal ions present is equal to 8 because eight tetrahedral voids are there so what is the ratio 8 is to 4 so if i simplify that 2 is to 1 hence the formula k2o approach towards application of radius ratio is properly to understand this is the best example for that now how to draw the structure the calcium fluoride structure that i discuss in a similar way only thing previously what was happening metal ions were in outer cube in fcc kind of arrangement now metal ions will be at the corner of the inner cube and oxides will be in outer cube in fcc arrangement let us understand how to draw this anti fluoride structure for that as i discuss for the fluoride structure such two cubes you need to imagine one larger cube it is for now oxide ions larger oxide ions and inner small cube corners of that small cube are for smaller relatively little smaller potassium ions now this concept will be more clear if i open up these cubes and step wise i represent the filling of ions first consider a large cube back side this blue square is represented now in this blue square is a large cube so who will enter 
ऑक्साइड आयन और मेटल आयन ऑक्साइड आयन लार्ज ऑक्साइड आयन एफ सी सी अरेन्जमेंट एट कॉर्नर एंड सेंटर ऑफ द फेस आफ्टरवर्ड्स लेटस कंसिडर वन मोर लेयर ऑफ द स्क्वेर मीन्स अ पोर्शन ऑफ स्मॉल क्यूब बैक साइड पोर्शन ऑफ स्मॉल इनर क्यूब एंड कॉर्नर ऑफ दैट इनर क्यूब आर ऑक्यूपाइड बाय विच आयन मेटल आयन सो यूर पोटेशियम आयन आर देर एट कॉर्नर ऑफ द स्क्वेर नाउ यू कैन इजीली फाइंड आउट बैक साइड ऑफ दैट स्मॉल स्क्वेर देर इज वन लार्ज आयन ऑक्साइड आयन नाउ इट बिकेम ब्लर सो दिस स्क्वेर व्हाइट स्क्वेर इज फ्रंट टू द प्रीवियस ब्लू स्क्वेर नाउ लेट अस कंसीडर वन मोर स्क्वेर इट्स नाउ थर्ड स्क्वेर इन टोटल बाय द फ्रंट साइड ऑफ द इनर क्यूब नाउ कॉर्नर्स हु विल बी देयर मेटल आयंस विल बी देयर यस दोज आर रिलेटिवली स्लिटल स्मॉलर so now three layers of the square i consider one large then two small squares of the inner cube now let me consider front face of the outer cube at the corner of that i place which ion oxide ion or metal ion right oxide ion but what is the fashion of their arrangement fcc so what i need to do each center of the face should be with the oxide ions yes now oxide ions are represented at center of the face so it is just opposite to the fluorite kind of the structure hence the name anti fluorite here metal ions are arranged at corners of inner cube and oxide ions have fcc kind of arrangement in outer cube students now homework in this potassium oxide crystal what did you find what is the coordination number of potassium and what is the coordination number of oxide that you mention as the answer of question number 1 and mention stoichiometry ratio between potassium and oxide in unit cell complete potassium ions and complete oxide ions present in unit cell that ratio after all you can simplify that and third question find radius ratio for any other example of anti fluorite category and predict or say whether radius ratio rule is applicable or not are these questions clear these are the other examples for anti fluoride structure potassium sulfide lithium oxide sodium oxide sodium selenide sodium sulfide it is just for your information and may it will help you to do homework let us study last structure called perovskite structure in next part